Hello everyone and welcome to a video for Vex on uh, Giloche. Uh, Giloche is just a an image something like the one here in front of us. Uh, it's defined as a graphic made with curvy lines. Typically you tend to see them about a millimeter apart on the lines in order to create a nice design and I thought it'd be a good thing to have for the face of a clock or for engraving onto uh, some decorative item that you're building. So to start the Galosh Wizard, we're going to push this button over here on the left, Galosh Wizard. And the theory of building a Galosh is basically filling a space between two complex envelopes with various patterns. So I've divided this uh, operation into basically three steps that you continuously repeat in order to create one of these things. So we start up here at the top with maximum radius. And here I've entered 50 uh, for a 50 millimeter radius. Now we have two bands here. One controls an outer envelope and one controls an inner envelope. Ignore the fill between the two envelopes. This is something that's done automatically based on the settings at the bottom under the fill section. At the moment let's just talk about these two envelopes. Now the two envelopes, uh, outer and an inner, are basically ellipsis to start. That's your base envelope shape. Uh, you can, just like in Garotic, select any order of elliptical uh, you can adjust its coefficient of ellipticality, which will make it anywhere from round to very pinched in. Also, you can control its phase, rotate to any position in order to get uh, what you might consider to be a pleasing shape. Now the band sliders up here, you can move an inner band in closer or further away in order to generate your shapes. Uh, this is all just a, a matter of whatever you'd like it to look like. So, as an example shape here, let's uh, just, in, in uh, just a, a random selection, we'll select a third order for our uh, inner envelope and a fourth order for our outer envelope. And we adjust for a pleasant size and then we begin to look at modifiers. I've got five levels of modifiers here and with the, these uh, five levels you're basically mixing uh, a sinusoidal waveform into the envelope. Both envelopes can receive five sets of sliders and that's what this level selection is. Uh, you can click it up through five, they're all set to zero at the moment and that's wh where they sit by default. However, let's say we want to mix a frequency into the outer envelope. The uh, general rule is to start with a low frequency, give it some amplitude until you're happy with the way the shape is uh, shaping up and then adjust your phase so that you have a pleasant symmetry. Now that would be a first level distortion of our outer waveform. Let's take it up a level to level 2 and you can go a little bit higher in frequency every time I've found and uh, to, to make it look good. If we raise the frequency a bit more you can start to see that we start to get some uh, strange shapes. Um, now let's take a look at our uh, inner waveform. We can do the same thing Go back to level 1, we give a frequency, and we start to add in a distortion. You can use your phase to adjust a distortion so it's somewhat symmetrical. And then we can look at the fills. When you're happy with the shapes of your inner and outer waveforms, then the decision has to be what you'd like to fill it with. Now we have two types of fill. We have sinusoidal and line at the moment. I may add more. Uh, you can make these things endlessly complex, really. I found here when you're using a sine wave fill, these uh, first two sliders are what are in effect. You have a density frequency and you have a modulus. The modulus is how many times you're repeating a base frequency. If I slide modulus to 1, you can see right now with a base frequency of 7, uh, my inner waveform is a quite a strange waveform. By hitting modulus and increasing modulus, you get copies of that waveform. The general rule is for a low frequency you would use a higher modulus and it becomes fairly decorative like that or you would use a low modulus but a high frequency and they each have a very different look to them and a different angle to their interior curves. Uh, so let's take a uh, low frequency, high density and when you're happy with a particular level, if we were to call this an outside shape level then we could hit the next button. The next button will lock that in and will automatically shrink our bands. You can see the maximum radius at the top now is 34.4. You're free to move these bands around. 
it's quite common to overlap slightly a previous band and there's a reset all button here on your envelope modifiers so you can take them all back to a default hitting preview uh, will fix your display to show you what you're currently commanding so from there you can again start to uh, modify envelopes and come up with shapes that you find pleasing now a second type of fill is a line fill and a line fill is controlled with the density frequency now selecting how many lines there are the modulus slider does nothing and we have another modulation we can put down here for lines called the line modulator and here we increase a frequency and an amplitude and you can see it begins to distort our line waveforms in terms of how close they are together as they travel they won't necessarily match your envelopes at this point but when you press the next key you don't get a copy of your envelopes unless you specifically ask for them um, in addition to that we have a phase control with which you can manipulate the lines around into a circular phase pattern uh, and if you do that you may find slightly bumping your density will give you a pleasant view when you're happy you can hit the next button and again we go back and just rinse and repeat every time. Um, let's just make this a three level one with lowering a, lowering a density and getting a nice looking line. Say next and when you hit cancel uh, your galoche is complete. Now one use of a galoche if you wish to uh, engrave one of these with a v-bit or something simply select the entire galoche by dragging around it, group it, and once it's grouped, the uh, button over here, Fast Path, will put out a G-code file for centerline engraving of that thing. If you're using a V-bit, you'd use a very shallow cut, of course. And with a laser, you wouldn't use any Z-axis at all. Uh, I've been engraving these with laser from this operation. It's a nice quick way to get G-code in order to create a uh, fancy diagram to put on the face of a clock or some similar purpose. All right, that's it. I said I'd make this a short one. I just thought I'd introduce you to the Galoche Wizard. Uh, it is now in the latest download of VEX uh, as of the moment this video went online. Have fun.